that one got a good. And I'm paying my respects to the traditional lands we're now standing upon unceded sovereign territory. I pay my respects to my elders, to my ancestors that are past, to the elders that are here today, to the other Aboriginal people that are in this space today. And um, it's good to see all you fellas here. Yama. Yeah, um, my name's Nathan Leslie. Um, sorry, I didn't send the bio through, so um, I'll introduce myself. My name's Nathan Leslie. I'm a proud Gumaroy, Wiradjuri, Man and Angie, Wanarua, man from northwest, western New South Wales and southwest Queensland. Now, um, in this colonial state, we now call New South Wales. 93% of expiration licenses are held within my country, the Milleroy and Miradjuri and Wanawa. It's a shame. You know, all for corporate greed, all for capitalist adventures that don't truly really reflect us. First Nation first, I'll speak for us first. Us, the original people of this land. You've got to get that right. The original people that were first, you know, run off our land, shot on sight, taken off our country, the place where we belonged since the first sunrise. You know, I look around, I drove up from the south coast today and I seen all the smoke that I drove up through and I straight away I knew, you know, that's the government, you know. And I often reflect, and that's the original people, because that was our, our duty, our traditional fire practices on managing this land. And when the original settlers come and shot us and, and grouped us up and put us on missions and run us off our country, that's what they took off. So that there is a true sign of the mismanagement of this illeg illegitimate government. You know, true, like I'd like to say I, I paid my respects to all you fellas that have made the time to come here and stand here with us. Yeah. Like, let's get it right. Like, us mob have been fighting the changes of our climate since nine, 1770. You know, when you talk about climate change and the resistance and the environmental movement. You know, we've been doing it from day dot. Where's the start? Where's the beginning? I don't know. But the important thing is, we are now here together. Yeah, it's very important that we walk as one, as Mao and Gamalari, Mao as one. You know, the importance of us having these dialogues with each other, supporting each other. You know, back home, I'll talk a bit more now about what's going on back home on Gamalari country. You know, there's a beautiful spot up in the northwest, just on the other side of Karindai. A bit further past Musselbrook, just a bit further past Morundi, and you come down on the Liverpool Plains, the Breezer Plains. That's the country where my ancestors have come, where they have gathered, where they have been since time immemorial. And unfortunately, we have this company, a Chinese multinational company, Shenhua coming in and wanting to dig up my country. Now, what's going on at the moment is one of my aunties, one of my, my elders who I look through for guidance, is actually taking the federal minister to court right now. So I want to give a shout out to this strong Gamorre Yena, my auntie. We can't be here today, but she's asked me to be here to stand up and talk about the fight that she's been doing for, I, I lost count, you know, and I've also lost count of all the elders that we've lost along the way, which is the reason why we must still fight. 
Now, she's taken the Federal Minister to the court because of failing in her judicial duties to enact the Cultural Heritage Protection Act. Now, let's get it right. The Cultural Heritage Protection Act is something there that is enacted as a last resort because if the government and people seen the value in what it was, we shouldn't have to enact this act in the first place. But yet we've had to do it. And guess what? She didn't enact it. So we're now taking her to court for failing in her duties. Now, she had chosen in her words that the benefits of this coal going mining going through for the community completely outweigh the cultural heritage importance. Yeah, shame. In her own words. Yet, yeah, not only me as Gimilaroi people, all my other fellow First Nation people that belong to this land then have to go to these same fraudulent persons who apply for protection. Shame. I know we sit here and we talk a lot, you know, the importance of talking, and, and, and it's very, very, very important. And I heard all you mob, you know, singing out, singing songs, you know, it's something that me and Uncle were just talking about here. It's something that us people have done since time immemorial. We've all come together and we sung songs. And that song line that you talk about, that we talk about as First Nation people, is under attack. Yeah? So, this thing that's going to happen on Gamaray country is not only going to affect Gamaray people, it's going to affect a whole lot of other people. And the consequences of that is irreparable. How do you put a money, a monetary compensation solution to that? That's why we need you to stand up, yeah? We need you also to be having these con conversations. You know, right now, I'm not going to say I want to be voted in the Constitution, so I'm going to recommend to you on my own personal thing, no to constitutional recognition right now if these are the people that are doing what they're doing to my country. Gummo. Now, here's a chant for you. Can you all say, Gummo means no. Terrible. Thank you. So come on. Come on is no or not no. No, we cannot have this going. And right now we need people to gather to stand up. I see the Stop Azani Mine shirt flowing around. I'll give a shout out to my people up there fighting, sticking it to the corporations, you know, give a shout out to them. <laughs> Not only that, I want to give a shout out, you know, to my, my, my peoples all around this country holding it down on the front line right now as we speak that there are people that are willing to put their bodies on the front line so we can have this freedom to gather right now. So can I get a yell to that? Yow! <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> you know? I ask you tonight, you know, it's very important that when you go home and you're with your loved ones or you're in your time, that you really think about what it's going to take to change. Because it's not going to take one person it's not going to take two people because there's a million and one problems in this society. So we need a million and three people to change. <laughs> now for me, my Montgomery people, we're about to go in, you know, so I'm about to say to you is watch this space. We're about to probably do what Queensland have been doing to stop Adani and we're about to show New South Wales people what we've got. You know, we're going to come together, unite, to kick these corporations out of our country. Because it's not only about me, it's not about my children, it's about our children's children's children. To hope that they have a better future. Yeah? So it's about us. Us, the importance of us. Look at what you're doing. 
your spirit and your soul. Go deep within your G, your heart. And there you will find the answers. Now, the chant that we've got going back home is greedy, sacred lands, not greedy hands. Let's try this one. Woo! Sacred lands, not greedy hands. Sacred lands, not greedy hands. Yo, sacred hands, not greedy hands. Sacred lands, not greedy hands. Sacred lands, not greedy hands. Yo, beautiful. <laughs> to all our non-indigenous mob, I look at you right now and say thank you, you know. But keep pushing. You know, I also ask for that use inclusion of us, First Nation people within your organisations to come and lead this fight. I know you feel your connection to this country, I'm um, great, but this is something we have felt for over hundreds of thousands of years. So please also do not take that right from us. Yeah, allow us to come in and work with you. Yeah, standing side by side. Reach out, yeah, have a conversation. The importance of us getting it right now. Yeah. Now I want to do one more thing. At the end of this song, we're going to do one more chant together. But I'm going to sing a song from my country, which talks about our ancestors, connecting to our ancestors, and knowing that they are always watching, they are always listening, and they are always guiding us. Because you have ancestors too. But it's just that we keep talking about ours. But also connect with yours. And you'll often find that we're connected in some way or another. We're all here, so you know, let's get it right. Now, can I just take this moment, I'm gonna take 30 seconds just to get this right. Look around you, look at the people beside you. Yeah, everyone, look at the person behind you. Look at the person in front of you. You know, in 10 years time, that person may not be there. And I know that's hard to say, but you've got to remember, you know, where we've come from, where we're going to now from here. Because some of these people may not be on the journey with you and that's all right because there may be other people to fill that space. You know, whatever skill you have that's going to help undo the mess that we're in, bring it to the table. Yeah? Now I'm going to sing this song for you, and I just want everyone just to reflect, to think about their loved ones, the people that we stand up for, and why we fight this fight. and do this chant.
Thank you. I'd like to now hand the mic to the next lot of people. Thank you for the mob that put on this event. Remember, Australia has a black history, y'all.